If you, there is more pizza there since it did just arrive, so please help yourself if you are hungry. I thought I'd try something different this time, um, so I've got pizza and chicken. Please give feedback, because I have no idea if you like it or not. Um, I always try to make sure there's vegetarian and halal in there, um, but other than that, if you've got suggestions, I've got a $100 budget, so please tell me what you like. Let me kill that one. And come back, Chrome. There's Chrome. My <coughs> usual co-host, Wei Jing, is out this month, unfortunately, so lucky you have me. Um, welcome to Talk CSS. She also hasn't added keyboard nav to the slide, so I have to awkwardly use the mouse. And I have complained and you know, told her to write better code. Um, you can find us on Gitter if you've got CSS questions that need answering or if you want to answer my CSS questions. Um, we have our site on um, GitHub, which has a summary of previous meetings and anything else you want to know. I mean, you're obviously sort of generally here because you know about the Meetups account and that's our main communication about what we're doing, but beyond that, the site's a good reference point. Oh, man, I really want to use my arrow keys here and it's killing me. People who we love. I do laugh that Gian gets his own. It's because you have a logo that you're on here. So otherwise, we'd have a picture of you and it'd look a bit weird. Um, we build at SG. If you want to know about any tech, anything happening in Singapore, then we build at SG is basically the place to go. Um, we love it because they've got a lot of data that they share so we can see which days are busy and what conflicts we've got. When we're planning meetups, we can see if there's anything else that's going to be a conflict doesn't stop every conflict, but it stops a lot of them. Um, but it's, they're awesome. Um, engineers.sg, we have Mike Chang here recording us once again, and the videos will be up um, at a later date, which is great. Um, Chian, why don't we mention you? Because we just love you. <laughs> <laughs> Stickers, yes. Ah, yes. We have... Singapore CSS stickers, um, Gopher Kong, and the Mer Gopher. Is it? What is it? Mer Gopher. Yeah, I guess it works. Mer Gopher. <laughs> Please take stickers. <laughs> Thank you very much, Space Mob, for hosting us this month, especially. <laughs> Special thanks for the, uh, the space cat. Um, do you want to tell people what you do just for a couple of minutes? Since you very kindly hosted us. Yeah, thanks guys for coming all the way here. And, you know, thanks for having this event here. More than happy to have you guys more often. So you guys let us know. Wait till we're done and we've left before oh, you make right, that yeah. offer. Get out, get out, get out. My name is T. I'm the CEO and founder of Space Bomb. Uh, this is actually our second location. Uh, our first one is in Orchard Road, Claymore area. We actually have 28 more spaces to open up. The next one is in Jakarta. It's one coming up in Thailand, another one in Vietnam, and a few more others around the region. Uh, but the ba basis of our space mob is, is co-working. It is to, to look at collaboration between you know, freelancers, SMEs, and even MNCs. So this space is not officially launched yet, so you guys are actually here before it's been officially kicked off. Uh, so, it, it is, so if you guys want a free tour of it, why not, let us know, we'll take you guys for a tour. Um, but because we're in Science Park, this is very dedicated to, to more deep science and technology. In fact, Space Mob was born out of the concept of, of adopting and, and really embracing technology. All the, uh, the technology that, that is built for the space from office management, space management, inventory management, e-wallet system, booking system, it's all built from the ground up using Go language, right? Uh, it is led by two ladies, uh, who's our, uh, you know, sort of our chief product and our chief technology officer. There are two ladies who basically built all this there, so we're very proud of that. In fact, all the, uh, the UI, UX are all done by, by ladies as well. For some reason, the ladies take over all our digital platform, and the guys are taking on the offline uh, platform stuff. 
But I, 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 that, that's all I'm going to say. Enjoy the time here and, and really have fun. And if you guys uh, want to kind of take a look at the space and enjoy it again, let us know. We'll be here for a while uh, to take you guys for a tour. But have a good event. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> That brings us on to what you're eating right now, which is very, very kindly brought to you by uh, Space Mob. Space Mob? Tribe Hide? I don't know. Someone pays me money and you get pizza. Um, and chicken, which is even more exciting. Uh, Tribe Hide basically reverses, the idea is they reverse the hiring thing. So you um, advertise yourself and companies will pitch to you to hire you. Uh, that's the general concept as far as I'm aware. But very kindly, they pay for our food every month, um, which is great. So if you're interested in actually getting a job in a different way, then check them out. I haven't prepared these slides, so I can't remember what happens. Oh, yes, our color of the month. Uh, this is Dodger Blue. Um, Hui Jing's pointed out there are enough colors in the CSS spec to keep us going for several decades. Um, <laughs> It'd be interesting if we went in alphabetical order, I think. So if you're thinking about using a colour and you don't know, this month, why not try Dodger Blue for no good reason whatsoever. Um, oh, look at the bad contrast. Ah. Announcements will be later. Let's get to other stuff first. Um, I will kick off getting into the news. Now... If you've been to Talk CSS when Hui Jing's not here and I have to do the news, it's terrible, so I apologise in advance. She compiles these notes, so I'm just going to read stuff and not understand what half of it is. Um, these are on our GitHub account, um, which you can get through our site. So if you want to read this later, anyway. Uh, there have been some pretty good things in the last few months, though. I mean, Grid has launched... Um, what have we got recently? Carrot colour, so you can change the colour of the carrot because you feel like it. Why not? Um, so there's some of the new things in Firefox 33. Safari 10.1 is out. If you haven't updated your Mac or phone or iPad or anything else like that, Grid is there. Yes, it's the best. Um, more things. Download. Oh, okay, that's fine. CSS containment modules. This is a way that lets you... Um, basically isolate chunks of your code and apply CSS only to them. Um, CSS is global by default. This is a way of natively being able to get work around that, which is pretty amazing. Um, there are some libraries out there like CSS modules for React. So I think it's gone beyond React these days that let you do the same thing artificially. Uh, this is a native way of doing it. Um, the good thing when things are done natively, like CS CSS variables, you can do variables in SAS or less. But if you have native variables, you can interact with them in different ways. They're live in the browser. Um, I ask this as an interview question if anyone thinks that they know their CSS well. Um, what's the main difference with CSS variables when they're um, like compared to SAS or less variables? And the key difference is you can interact with them via JavaScript. Um, that's pretty powerful. They're supported in a lot of browsers these days. But other things, what else have we got? CSS fill and stroke, uh, which lets you do interesting things with text and SVG. Uh, we're kind of getting into like early 90s stuff you could do in a word processor now on the web. Wow. Um, image values, box alignment. Yeah, I'm going to skip the rest because I don't really know. Um, tonight, there is me and me and me. Um, we live off you lot actually coming up and speaking. Um, you don't need to be an expert in what you're doing. If you've done something, if you've built it and you want to talk about it, this is a great platform for you. Um, if you've ever wanted to get a really cheap conference ticket, it's a really, really good way to get in that direction. Because um, I know from planning things like that, we look at people's past and if they've spoken at a nice event like Singapore CSS, then it certainly stands in your favour. Um, so if you're interested for next month, please let me know. If not, if you've got something tonight that you want to share later on, I'll um, make some time available. <coughs> um, so tonight's agenda, past what we've done already, I'm going to be tearing apart the singtel.com. Um, if you're on copy.js, uh, 
Slack group, then you'll know how happy I was when I went there to pay my bill. And they've redesigned the site and it looks awful. All the performance is bad, but we'll, I'll be diving into that and why it's bad, how it can be improved, basically. Um, there's nothing worse than a new release that just goes a notch worse than what was there before. Um, after that, I'll be opening the floor for Dr. CSS. This is something we've been trying to introduce for the last couple of talk CSSs, but we keep running out of time. Um, tonight we've got time, so that's good. If you've got a particular problem that you're having trouble with, if there's a concept you'd like explained, um, it's your chance to basically ask questions and uh, we'll do our best to try to explain it and make sense of it. CSS is a bit of a mystery for a lot of people because it doesn't, it's kind of like what JavaScript was 10 years ago. Um, some people knew it well, but a lot of people didn't. And that's very much where CSS is now. Um, it also doesn't really get the respect, I don't think, in a professional environment. That you see a front-end developer who knows JavaScript but no CSS, and so, well, what front-end are you actually building? Um, so don't be afraid to ask what you think is a, a stupid question because, um, again, if you look on our Gitter channel, I ask many. All right, moving on to Singtel. Singtel customers here? Singtel devs here? Okay. <laughs> 